Okay, uh, back here on the uh, Bridgeport, um, and I'm generating the hex on this bonnet. And I'm going to show it to you up close. See the hex there. And I was asked to show how this is done. So that's what I'm doing with the super spacer here and, of course, the bridge port. Now, one of the reasons why I got the uh, GO704, I call it the GO007, um, was to make it, set it up not only for some other parts, but to do these hexes. And Pete, uh, my friend Pete, gave me the idea of putting, I don't know if you can see the vise here, but putting a bunch of them in a vise on aluminum jaws and just go around with the machine on each one, you know which is a good idea, but I can do them pretty fast here. I'm just sitting here while you can see the DSMA running in the background there. That's cranking out the pieces for me. Yep, there goes one down the thing. Boom, there it is. Another one bites the dust. And uh, while that's running, I'm making these parts. Now here's how, here's how you do this. All right, you just lift that up. It's all set up. There's stops in here so you can't mess up. And you just go across, come back, go to the next one. And it's pretty fast. I mean, I can... Yeah, I got to do it, yeah, but what the heck, it ain't that bad. What am I going to do, wash the floor? I, I, I've been, like, sweeping the floor while the machine's running, you know? And uh, there's a zero on here where I start every time. I start at zero. And I just blow it off a little bit. And I got the rag on here so I don't mess up and get the grab the wrong thing. That's on there for a reason. Put that in there, hold it down with your thumb, press down on that, start all over again. Because if I go for this lever and I accidentally open that lever, well, then it's gonna mess it up. So just to make it play it safe, put that on there. And I've got these marked in yellow for the um, uh, hex part, and this will do up to 12 spaces, or I think tw 24 spaces, I think, around there. So divisible by 24. That's all you do, just flip it around while that machine's running over there. I'm doing these. No big deal. There it is, another one. The machine running, carefully go over there, put one in. Now, I didn't do it on that last one, but just to play it safe, there might be a little burr under there, so I'm just knocking that off and uh, put it in here. Put your finger on top of it, push down, start all over again. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, next case. It's really simple, no, no big deal. In the meantime, DSMA is making the blanks. Now I'm going to have to do two threading operations on this piece, and I plan on um, I plan on doing that on the chucker. Uh, I get a little tired of cranking, maybe. No biggie. Got the readout up there. I'm not using it. Now when you make a hex, the thing you gotta do is take a cut all the way around. Hey, I'm talking to you guys and not paying attention. take a cut all the way around and then mic it across the flats and then what you're going to find out is well it's got more to come off you only take half of what it says so it takes say it takes I'm cutting a 3 a hex say if it takes 10 thousands to make it to 3 8 you only take five so you're taking it on both sides so you got to remember that now this is a hearted super spacer it's an old one but it's a very good one it takes five C collets I got a stop set in the bottom so it doesn't set up against that lip there because there's a little bit of a radius that could be um, 
variable. So I know that the length of these are right on each one. So put the thumb down, put that in there. Take a quick look over at the DSMA, make sure everything's running right. Yep, still running. Got uh, nine parts made already. This is the tenth one it's working on right now. So just sit here and crank them out. No big deal. You want to sit around on your butt watching some CNC machine run? You know, I guess it's got its advantages, but I don't mind doing this. I'm not doing nothing else. It kind of passes the time. So, good exercise to my left hand. I'm, I'm right-handed, so I don't use my left hand that much. Good exercise for the wrist. Cranking them out here, boss. Cranking them out. Ever watch Cool Hand Luke? The movie Cool Hand Luke? I'm smoking it up, boss. Smoking it up. I'm a-shaking it, boss. I'm a-shaking it. Put the rope on there. Smart dude, man. Everybody got a way to beat the system system was he had to take a dump in the woods so he put a string on there and he's shaking it and he's shaking it from about 20 30 feet away and he just took off he had a little head start on him it's all in the setup it's all in the setup so you gotta do a little cranking yeah my arms you know power feed yeah you can do it with a power feed this is my power feed right here. Power feed, right. Power feed, sure. Okay. Well. That's how you make a hex on a part. I want to ask you to subscribe to my videos, please. And thanks for watching. I'm now approaching a million views, which is exciting. Uh, nowhere is near the Tubal Cane. He's got about 16 million or more. But um, he um, does a lot more videos and they're more, he's got more subscribers, so that makes a big difference. But anyway, uh, we'll see you again on the next video, which will be threading the parts. Thanks for watching.